What is going on today, guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, if you are closing deals on the phone, I'm gonna give you my top five to top 10 best discovery questions and sales questions to ask your prospect to give you leverage later on in the phone call. I love the feedback that I got on the, uh, where I closed somebody live for $2,000 a month. You guys love that video. You guys like literally had like 15 plus likes. If we can do 15 plus likes again, I really appreciate it. Just subscribe if you're new as well. Comment down below any questions that you have, or maybe you want me to look at your discovery questions during your sales call, but we're going to hop into my sales script that has made, you know, well over four to $5 million over the past three years. So I really want to just go over this. So this is like my main sales script. Okay. And these are the discovery questions that we always ask. And the whole point of these top sales questions is to obviously discover more about the prospect, but you have a leverage later on. Okay. Because here's the thing. So I'd love to hear more about your business and how you got started, what it's, what, what it's all about. Like, this is a good question because it makes the prospect talk and people just like talking about themselves. Second one, you know, you answer that, you know, what, what would you say differentiates you from your competitors? Oh, excuse me. That is a question that makes them talk more about themselves. So you're giving them the leverage because the more you talk, the more you lose. Okay. You don't want to be talking the whole time. So tell me about your online presence right now. Are you new to the online space? Have you been doing it for a while? Can you tell me more about your current advertising strategy? Because if we can get as much leverage from them in the beginning, like, Hey, like you're currently doing this and this, and those things are wrong. We can bring that up later in the call because you know, what are your conversion rates? If they don't know that number, then we could say, Hey, listen, like you don't even know these numbers in your business and you're trying to grow it. You don't have any data whatsoever. You don't know how to read your numbers. So how are you going to grow your business? You need a team who can help you do that. Um, how much do you spend right now? You know, what do you think is working, not working? Because then we can say like, Hey, like you have a proven concept you can work with us. You know, what is one thing in your marketing you would like to change? Because that's where they could bring up the thing of like, hey, we worked with other agencies and we wanted this done and this done and this done and no one ever did it because that's what I want to change. What would you rather learn? Would you rather learn how to run it yourself or have someone run it all for you? This is where we kind of make them kind of answer the question of their path. Like, do you want coaching or do you want done for you? Do you have a bestseller? More leverage to be like, hey, listen, like you have a bestselling product. All we have to do now is do X, Y, and Z with that bestselling product. How are you looking? How soon are you looking to get results so that we know like if they say right away, it's like, okay, well, you told me you want to get results right away. And you're trying to push me at the end of the phone call when I ask for payment, you know, what's your monthly revenue? How much do you want to make a month? And like, we tell them to be practical because that actually makes us more transparent and it builds more transparency of like, all right, like, we're not going to tell you that you can make a million dollars a year. Like we're not. And how do you think Jason can help you? This is the point where they have given us all this information. We've given them feedback on the questions. And now it's like, Hey, listen, like, how do you think we can actually help you? Because now we're getting the deliverables from them. And if those deliverables match what we exactly do, there is no way that they're going to hop off the phone yet, or there's any friction or any objections right now. We're kind of just jogging along with the prospect. We're filling them out. So I know some of these discovery questions don't relate to your niche, but you can definitely alter these to yours and you can screenshot this right now if you'd like. And then we go into like presenting the offer. So these are like our biggest, you know, how many questions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 questions. So, um, and these are all like, this has been used day in and day out. This is the exact same script that my team uses. I have five sales reps. So if you want a proven concept of a sales process and discovery questions, here it is. This has made millions of dollars and this is all yours. All you do is screenshot it. But I wanted to make this quick video too, because you know, if you're trying to close deals on the phone, you have to have a sales script. I don't care if you're doing cold calling or you're getting booked calls of inbound leads. You need to be able to also understand that when someone's on the phone with you, they don't know who you are. They're not like ready to look at their credit card the first minute, like you need to be able to have that persuasive ability to jog with the prospect, get to know them in the business, you know, whatever you're selling, get to know them and their problems. And then if you just complete, like, if you just nod with them, like, yeah, like I understand that, you know, okay, well, do you have this? And do you have that? And you, like, you're basically qualifying them because in the beginning of the call, you frame it, you say, listen, like if we're a good fit today, are you okay moving forward? I'm going to ask you a bunch of qualifying questions. If you pass, are you okay? You know, with this kind of budget range of what we're looking at, if so, then we'll move forward. If not, then I don't think this is going to be a good fit. And that's where we frame the price too, where it's like, listen, like you don't know the exact number, but this is what you've been given as a range. And if that scares you, then odds are you don't have the flexibility to grow with us. So hope this gives a lot of clarity. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope this gave you a ton of value. If it did, please subscribe down below, comment and subscribe. And like the video helps the algorithm. Last video, I talked about sales. I got over like 15 likes. So let's try to do it again on this video. I appreciate you guys a lot. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.